Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. YouTube, the OGs and the DMV are back, baby. We are back and we're talking everything with Wizards. Wizards. Wizards, what the Wizards have done since the All-Star break. How my man Porzingis, the unicorn, has been doing. And then some of our young talent, what they've been doing. But first, before we start the show, let me introduce us. Everybody, my man down low is Deacon. My man over to the left of me or the right of me. I don't know which one. It's Tracy, baby. <laughs> and what do we always say when we start the show? Let's get it. Let's get it. My chef, Carhart, EK glasses, champion of starter coats, ballets and gold ropes, polka dot shirts, backpacks, Nikes and Van Grax, MCM come again. The fact that I'm in the booth now. Hip hop alive and well throughout the underground. Remember to let us into your skin <laughs> and we'll begin to master rhyme and rhyme and rhyme and hey yo kid remember when i used to be dope yeah hey yo kid hey yo kid remember when i used to be dope yeah hey yo kid hey yo kid remember when i used to be dope yeah i know you too we back baby we back I just came back from vacation. The old man can't hang no more. He can't hang no more. He uh, <laughs> I'm trying to recover out. from vacation, baby. The I, truth I, comes I, out. The truth comes out. I can't hang no more. I leaned back with the Cubans. I had the tequila. And now I had to come back, man. They shipped me back home. <laughs> they shipped me back home. But I made it back home. I'm here. And Welcome I miss back. I miss what happened with my wizards. I don't know what happened. Had, where I was at. We had no Wizards games on TV. I was watching the Spanish Network, so I didn't see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so my boy Trey Z and Deacon gonna let me know since the All-Star break what happened with the Wizards for since I've been gone. Deacon, can you start me off? I don't know what to tell you, big brother. It's uh, slow going. Slow since going. the All-Star break, we, we played a couple games and we won a couple and lost more than we won. So it, it's, it's more of the same. Uh, I do think the team plays better, but we still suffer from the same thing that we had before. Can't shoot. Uh, can't shoot. Can't <laughs> score the ball. And we have one shooter on the team on the record. Well, let me not say that. Because I think Ish can make a shot. I think Wolf can make a shot. Um, Rui has been looking much better from the three. I just think, and you know, Kuzma. Kuzma is, is the aggressive one. He's the one who Alpha Kuza, Alpha Kuza, huh? Alpha when this team so far right now, that's what he is. He is the most aggressive that we have, and not the one that's not scared to take the last shot. But he's 50 50. If you look at his at his box, score, I mean, he'd be scoring 30, but he's 50 50, you know? Yeah, he's up, so up and down. Yeah, so nobody's scared of him taking the last shot. Nobody's scared of him leaving him open. You know, some days he's hiding, some days he's not. So. I think we still suffer from the same and same thing, which is we can't score the ball when we have to. This is the reason why we come down to the uh, end of the game, and it looks like we got a chance because we get schizophrenic with the ball. We start shooting, and it start going in. You know, because <laughs> you know, it has to. We have nothing else to do but to shoot. And then you know we get, get close like last night with the Atlanta game, and you know nobody can make that last shot. So it's, it's when we need it, we can't get it, and. It just looks good to the point where we get close, and that's just where we stand. So it looks like we're uh, a number 10 team right now. Mm. Now, the problem with uh, the trade is the unicorn is giving us the middle finger, and he ain't <laughs> playing. You know, he, he finally did five on five drills, and he completed them, and he doesn't have any soreness or, uh, or swollenness in his knees, but he still ain't on the roster as far as on, on, the, on the game card. So. What are, you, what are you supposed to do with that? What are you supposed to do with that? So I are mean, we missing Bradley too? You feel like we missing Bradley? Oh yeah, we missing because he was yeah because you know everybody everybody mad because Bradley is a shooter and he shoots, but that's the one that's what we need. We need thirty points. You can't just get rid of thirty points and be like, oh, we good, we good. We don't need him. Come on, man. People. You got to resign him. It, it, nothing we can do. I mean, how many times are we going to get a good player and then let him go and then he go to another team and win championships, you know? <laughs> how many times are we going to do that? I mean, so you, you get you can't you can't be crying that you got a good player, but you don't like him because he shoot a lot. 
but that's his job to shoot. He's not the he's not the point guard. He's the two guard. He's the shooting guard. So I mean, you know, it, it, it's the Wizards. It's the Wizards, man. So, I now, 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 Deacon, I'm surprised. He's normally Mister uh, Positivity, Positivity, and, <laughs> and uh, 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 Yoga. <laughs> Chimes and stuff, but tonight the day is a little frustrated. I, I I'll say this, Big Al. Um, the Wizards are in a synergy situation. I they they are trying to find it. Um, they know what they have to do when Bill is not there. Bill is the captain, not only uh, in title, but he's also the captain in. Uh, you know, the, the, on the court. So I think they had to make some adjustments. I like Kuzman's game now. He is more confident. He's more, he's making more decisions that need to be made. I, I agree with Deacon. It's not necessarily going to be guaranteed, but if he shoots enough, he keeps us in the game. And that's what it is, man. We, we, we're we competitive. We're, we're not getting blown out, which is something that we all were fearing. You know, we've all seen enough of. Uh, I think uh, one game which is actually pet. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey man, you too, hey. right here on DMV Sports <laughs> Team. Those of you who are pet lovers, we are very much in support of all things pets. All right. So anyway, uh, as uh, my dog seems to readjust my studio here, so. The idea is now what needs to happen is, you know, the unicorn. I mean, lived up to his name. It's a myth. And so right <laughs> now, we did trade for somebody, I guess. It's it's a legend out there, allegedly. We did trade for somebody. Ain't touched the court yet. Uh, I was. We would talk about Cuban, but maybe Cuban knew something. Gave us that Lamborghini with no transmissions. Beautiful. <laughs> but that joint is not leaving the driveway. And so right now, and you know how much a Lamborghini transmission is now? <laughs> a whole nother Lamborghini. So, it's, so with that being said, um, uh, I think we just have to, I'm sorry, once again. <laughs> hey, come on! <laughs> oh, um, my kid, kids. This is, this is, this is, this is different. <laughs> hey yo, I'm just getting back from vacation. I've been smoking Cubans, and Cubans it's like he got us. So, <laughs> hey, yeah. the got the this one right here. I, I see. <laughs> so speaking, of, man, I had that tequila down there with the worm and everything, Deacon. So I missed all out on Brian and Hachimura. How they look back? They should be fully recovered now. How they looking out there? I think Brian is probably fully recovered. I, I just think he's limited. You know, he, he's he's. When you look at, he's a backup center. He's a backup center. That's what we have, and really Gafford is too. He just has more energy, and he he could if he had somebody's aggression other than what he has. He, <laughs> you no, know, he's soft. He's soft. That's okay. He's always, he got soft players out there. He's right, soft. right. But when he can jump out of jail. Yeah, go, yeah, go. Take that. What? 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 Take it. Take okay. it back. I want, you, I want you to watch more games. No, no. I'm, but, I'm watching the game. Gavin is not soft. He may be free. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is he's not he doesn't have that girth, so maybe, you know, he's not. No, no. Yeah, I'm not talking soft. about I'm not talking about the size. I'm just talking about you don't think he's soft? No. I mean, no. okay, to me, I, to I, me, I, I'm just gonna say he 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 appears to be non aggressive. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Now, see, that's here. different. He he does want to be more finesse when there are times when you think that he should just drill it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? But he has done that. You've seen him. Most of his shots are dumps. And, I mean, and that's aggressive. That's an aggressive. I can get more aggressive than dumps. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, that, you know, he, he's not just... Aggressive to me is when you, when you close and you slam it on somebody's head. His slams are mostly off of pick and rolls and stuff like that. He's wide open. 
He's not really just taking up somebody's body and then pushing it in their face. You know, that's what I'm saying. It, that aggressive sinner type stuff where you can't stop. Uh, okay. You know? All right. So you're talking about when Rui decided to post the ride. <laughs> this is my favorite play in the last 20 years. Hey, even that. Even you got to you gotta show it in the middle. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, middle. Yeah, show yeah, it in the middle. Please make me show it in the middle. <laughs> That, 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 that's aggressive, yes sir. And then another game against the Clippers at Staples. Oh my goodness, Rui Hachimura against Anthony Davis who got the worst of that. Rui in transition, AD coming at him. My goodness, he had nothing for him. Rui. Wow. Yes, sir. So, yeah, but I, I just, and it could be because he doesn't have a lot of game, okay? I mean, he, he, he don't have a, a reverse spin, you know. He doesn't have any. He just you know, has a dunk and blo yeah, he blocks. So, yeah, he's not a low box kind of guy. He doesn't have a, a back to the basket type of old school center type of thing, you know. And, and neither does Bryant, really. He, he's a he's a shooter. He's not a he's not a banger. You know, we don't have a banger on the team. What what? Who's the old school center outside of the big app? Oh. He, I don't know. There you go. So that's that's not that's really not I mean, that game anymore, right? So you're right. Like, but, but during it during it, when you get a trend like that, those guys who aren't back to the basket players can't defend that kind of play either. Well, that's so why the big athlete is dominating, though. That's, that's why the big that's right. Dominating. That's why you switch up. It's like having. It's like when right now football is a passing league. At some point, it's, it's going to be a running league because all them guys want to know how to do is pass block. And then the person who starts running first is going to dominate the league, and then it's going to rotate again. That's what we need to do. We need to find a center, man, that, that has some kind of low box skill. We don't have that right now. I'm, I'm fine with Gafford as for right now. He's better than Bryant. And I think, you know, just energy-wise and, and, and even the aggressiveness that Gafford has is more than what Bryant has. But we need to, we need, I think we need more as far as Gafford is concerned. I think, because he, what is this, third year? I think he's on his third year. I think Brian's fourth year. Yeah. So if they progress, if they go into, I haven't seen any progression from last year to this year with Gafford, but if they, well, I have, but I just want them to, I just want them to be more of a, a, a live, not a liability on the box as opposed to just being big and, you know, having to, because, you know, they get eight of them all the time. Anyway, so, so, what happened? But you're only talking offense because you did admit that he could block. So you're yeah, only he, talking he, off. He, yeah, but, but he's a foul machine on defense. I mean, well, you if you were shot blocking, that's what's going to, you know, 50-50, man. You're going yeah, to get it, you're not. Slot. I want, I want, I want but it stops them dudes from wanting to go in there sometimes. sometimes. But I guess that goes into what you were saying. He was a little more aggressive and not only got fouled but gave a bloody nose. Then that's really starts the game. Well, we it. we lost that. We, we we all know we lost the aggressiveness when we lost the junkyard dog. I mean, that was that was junkyard dog's game that yeah, people was prowling. But he wasn't the best defense player though, big guy. He, he was, was on no offense. He, he was what DK wanted on offense. Yeah, yeah, he was he was he was aggressive. Though. I mean, you gotta say the junkyard dog was aggressive. You know what I'm saying? And now he he's the movie star. Now he's a movie star too. But the only thing the junkyard dog problem was he was six seven. You know what I'm saying? That was his problem. He was just a little small. How about Rui though? How, how's Rui been doing? Monkey. I like Rui. Like I said, he, he, Rui's he's coming great. along. I like Rui's coming along, man. It's the Rui. We're starting to see it. It's not like there was no regression. He's, he's he's showing up. Hey, guess what? When he throws up a shot, you 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 feel more confident that's gonna go in than not. You know, um, his mid range seems to be more solid than most. Uh, ah, what game was that, man? They, they, the, the Wizards was lights out when they was playing. I believe it was Detroit. Mm -hmm. It was like the, the it, it blew my mind. We were shooting out. It was you. Oh, yeah? oh yeah, we were shooting. We got like seventy points in the first half. We like were that? shooting big out, and it was just was I was like, whoa, game, huh? yeah, man, it finally came around. So, and so, so, and so here, here's what I'm saying. Um, you, you get Bill back, right? I think Deacon said it best. You, need, you can't leave 30 on the, on, the, on the bench. You get him back, he comes back, he gets 20 extra points. Then, you know, um, I did hear there was a sighting of the unicorn in the 5 on 5. You know, so the myth of Mike be something, you know, I'll confirm. Um, but then I also heard Sasquatch was in the drive through at Burger King. <laughs> 
<laughs> but with that being said, that being said, you know, both these, uh, uh, what do you call it, cryptids <laughs> that we're looking for, you know what I'm saying, uh, hopefully will be the truth. I mean, they said, the Pentagon said that you opposed to this, so we, we're, we're in good, we're in good, good stead here, fellas. I think that that can happen. And poor thing is, might show up before the end of the season. What do you think about that? I hope so. I mean, there's no reason to leave him on the bench. And then, right. what are you gonna do? Try to trade him next year? I mean, you gotta, you gotta get him out there, get some, uh, some game time, so that he's uh, at least available to play. Um, and he got game, man. He got game. You just gotta keep him. Maybe you gotta put him on a minute restriction, like you know, LeBron's on, or or the, the boy the Clippers, uh, 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 Ka- uh, Ka- 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 Kawhi. Why? They don't game restrictions, man. He, he he might play half the season, you know. Give him some, give him a whole lot of games off, and then when we get to the playoffs, you play him every game until he way out. All so right. this you know. key question: Are we gonna get that? Well, we, we gotta get to the ninth spot or the eighth spot to get the playing game. Can we get there? I think we get to ten if man, we ain't eleven now, I think. So we can, we're not we far can, We can get there depending on the other teams for play. Brooklyn has fell off. Brooklyn has fell off, right? Brooklyn has fell off. Yeah, but uh, uh, Wichcom came back now. Um, Milwaukee? No, 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 no. No, I'm talking about Brooklyn. Uh, your boy's back. Durant. Oh, KD's he's back? back? Yeah, he's back now. He scored 30 in his first game back. So. Oh, okay. The points, the points are automatic off the bench. He sneezes and gets 30. Yeah. yeah, that's what KD do, you know. He and just... then they're talking about uh, lifting oh, the restrictions. Boy. They're lifting the restrictions in New York. For, oh, um, are they? Okay. They, yeah. So they, they, well, they extended it, but before the playoff starts, they probably going to um, let that go. So he going to be able to play home games at that point. Now, are they going to make it, though? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, they, they, yeah. So I've been gone. Like I said, I was drinking tequila, so did uh, the, the light skinned kid there. You know, you keep saying that. Because there's a lot of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to talk about that off the air. We got to call out. Hey. We got to make a call, man. <laughs> hey, I made it back to the country. Four times today. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Seth, Seth Curry can shoot too, man. And they got him starting. So okay. they got a lot of shooters on that team. What's the kid? They got now? Andre Drummond. <laughs> what's, the other, what's, the, what's the point guard from Philly? Is he playing? The yeah. big boy. Oh, oh uh, Simmons? Simmons. Nah, he, hasn't, he hasn't showed up yet. He's like wow. Porzingis. They they in the races. He would get on the court first. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness! Okay. The unicorn or the, the one that's less seen. So seen. we're fighting with Brooklyn to get that last spot, right? Brooklyn, Atlanta too. Atlanta's only at number ten, I think. Yeah, that was a big okay. game. But yeah. So a lot of a lot of the teams, like not a lot of, but a couple of teams that were hot last year are barely making it this year. So you know, we got a shot. We got a shot. Like the Lakers. Lakers. Zingas comes in and does a 20, a, a double double, put it that way. Yeah, is the Lakers out of it now? Is the Lakers out of it or what? They look, look, they look bad. They, they, look. they need to be tanking at this point. But then, you know, they traded all their good players away. All the young stars, all the young stars that they had getting from the draft before the, uh, LeBron got there. They traded all the cats away and all of them flourished. So they got to start all over again. They, so the Ron East. said he waits for his son, son to play. <laughs> like, <laughs> is he gonna hey, make it? LeBron gonna... is good enough to do it. I can't take away his talent. Right? Just, 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 is he going to make make his son be a pro player? I mean, is this yeah, son people, a pro people, people go to start comparing him to Jordan. It's yeah, people, people would draft him just to get Jordan. It's just to get the LeBron on the team. That's money. Yeah. That's money. Where it sells tickets. Put his butts yeah. in the seats. Yeah, That's yeah. right. He might be a wizard. <laughs> like we did Jordan, hey, we did Jordan that way, hey. True. hey and we so, only did Jordan half the team, though. Yeah, right. Jordan was the owner coach. Owner coach play. <laughs> so next year, since like we may not be even the 10th spot, what we need, a point guard next year? So y'all think we need next year as a point guard? Or should we trade the unicorn for a real center? Or what What, what we need? The y'all see? Weird, man, because I don't know what I'm seeing. For me, again, that before I was rudely interrupted, I don't know what I'm seeing. I, I what we're started over. We kind of in the second half of the season, we kind of started over, 
and we're just, you know, people coming back from a hiatus of people getting drafted in and then, then the trade and all of that. So it's like, this is a whole new thing for us. So what we need is more games. What we need is wins. What we need is some consistency on how we're going to do rotation. And then I can sit there and tell you, um, I like um, my man's play, the book man's play. I like like I see Kuz coming out of it. Will that continue with Rui and Kuz playing the way they're playing when Bill returns? Or will they, they, they fall off? You know, I want to see it. We, it's kind of like it's the curse of Washington, man. We could, Except for the Capitals, we could never, ever really seem to keep our original squad on the field, the, the diamond, the court, <laughs> for any long period of time before somebody gets hurt or something happens. We right. never get a chance to do that. And except on the ice, we can't get all of our our starters on and in the game. And so right. until I can see that, that is a hard question, man. It's a hard question. I think we need a point guard. Anytime, anytime you bring back Sadaransky mm. the point. He's on our team now? Yeah, he's back. Yeah. He's back. Dude, he's good for five points, man. Five points. We need, okay, we need he to bring the ball go. down the court and distribute as a point guard. Nah. Nah. Nah, no. No. That's why he was free. That's why they cut him and didn't trade I him. Thought, I thought it was because of, you know, we needed something to trade. We No, we needed a bigger point guard. He's the biggest point guard we got at this point. We had Ish, who was under five foot. And we got... Uh, under who, five, who, under six feet. Hey, after, hey, after. Not, 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 not. <laughs> he said we got a bunch of hobbits playing at, at the We get we get killed on rotation because they rotate us out of position, and then uh, one of our little point guards is always on a forward, and they just shoot right over. No, That's what happened yeah, yeah. the game that was killing us. So we need a, a, a real point guard, and, and I think you draft one. I don't think you try to go get one off the run. I mean, you know, if there's one that's out there, but we don't have we we, we don't have any assets right now. So we're gonna have to work through the through the um, draft. We, we got Przinsky. <laughs> no, nah, because you want him, you want him to be good. You want him to play. You want him to stay. If 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 at all possible, you want that trade to work out for us. Because what is he seven six or something like that? Seven three. And he's a he's seven three, and he's a forward. And then you put him on the court with Gafford or Bryant. You got a big lineup. Then and, and then you got Rui, who's big, and Rui's athletic. Porzingis is slightly athletic. Yeah, you know, he can shoot over anybody. Kuzi's athletic. Yeah, so you got a lot of athletes who can shoot at the right time. We need to, somebody. Bill's the one you want to shoot at the right time. You know, you know he can always get that elbow shot whenever right. he wants, as long as he don't try to dribble too fast. Right, right. So you, you want this to work out, man, and, and you don't want to have to rebuild your whole team at one time. But that's gonna take another five, six years. So we want these guys to work out as it as it's constructed right now. We just need to focus on I would trade every pick I have in the draft right now for number one. Just if there's a point guard out there who can play, you know, because we all see how these point guards are taking over the league, man. These, these young boys are just too fast, too quick twitch, and can shoot from everywhere. And that's what we need. All right, good right. call, good call, Deacon. So wrapping it all up, uh, there's a point guard from, um, what's he play for, Sacramento? I think his name was Fox. Quick point DeAndre guard. Fox. Yeah, DeAndre Fox. They talking about letting him go. They like him, but he wants to get out of Sacramento. But I think he wants big money, but he's a, Young point guard that's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. tall, he's like 6'5, he's quick like wall. He can drive to the rack, got a good shot. Do we want to go? Do we want to give go trade for a young point guard like that that has some experience? Are you saying go into the college ranks and put him on? Listen, I take that too because he's already approving uh, a common commodity, right? So we know he can play in the league. So I would, I would, I would rather trade for him than trade for a point guard in the, in the draft. I'm just saying that. I, would, I wouldn't think that we would be able to get that kind of person just because, you know, we don't have enough trash on our team to throw at somebody at this point. Well, we could throw Denny or... Um, 
Sure. Yes, you're right. You're right. Oh. You're right. Denny. Yeah. We can go Denny, what's the other dude, Kisper, and all hey, that. Hey, 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 man. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, hey, this is this Kisper's scared bad. to shoot, man. He's scared, huh? to shoot the, he's scared to shoot in them big time. Look, man. but this is what you just said. Talk about what you said. This is his first year, man. He was rookie. I was a young child. You. you said that the Deacon had, his, had some against uh, Denny and now Look at you trading them the next, <laughs> next show. What's going on, man? Hey, man. I'm a hey, fan. Hey, Deacon. I'm a flip-flop. <laughs> hey y'all man. I'm trying to recover from Mexico, so I'm gonna get out of here. I need some water. I need some real water. You know what I'm I need to rest. It's so I'm gonna eat, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna let your mom check. <laughs> hey Deacon, hit that go-go Deacon, man. Get that yes, go-go. Yes, sir. Let's get us out of here.